Hey, what's up, everybody? So in this video, we'll discuss what is collision resolution. All right. So last video, we discussed about um, what is um, hash function and hash table. Right. We discussed hashing in our previous videos. OK, so in this video. So let's say we have a hash function HS. OK, and we input a data uh, to this function and it returns an index. All right. Now, let's say for multiple data inputs, let's say for 10 and 20, it, it returns three. So that is the same index for two inputs. So so what would happen? It will lead to collision. There will be a chain of uh, at index three, it will form a linked list of two two elements ten and ten and twenty. Okay. So to resolve this collision, we use open addressing, right? Which is also known as closed hashing. Okay. So open addressing is a very simple concept where where if at the first at, where let's say the data input is x, let's say the input is x, right? With from number, let's say the input is x, and for the first time, it will return an index 3, right? And first time means the zeroth time, right? And uh, if there is already an element present, the third index, right? At the third index, it won't place the element x there. Then, then let's say in the next attempt, it returned 4, right? So it will, like, it will show 20. It will, but then, but then again, there is one more element present in at the index four. Then it will again take one more attempt, right? And then at the third and and then it will it it will return seven. And at seven there is no no element. So we'll place X there. Right? So these number of attempts, right? So to each attempt we assign a probe probe number. So for each attempt we assign a probe number to it, right? So here's zero, one, two are probe number, right? What is the what is the maximum number of attempts we can take? Uh, that is uh, that means what is the maximum probe number we can we can have here? It can go from zero to m minus one, right? And and what is m? M is the number of indices in the hash table.